Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. I've been asked to do a full-length demo for one of the local clubs, the topic being bottle stoppers. So I couldn't help myself, but I took the infinite access chuck and upgraded it now so that I can do a bottle stopper, stopper on it. So this is the bottle stopper. It's eccentric. I think it's kind of neat, and I'll show you how I do it. I've prepared a piece of walnut by drilling a pilot hole for a 3 8 inch tap. That works out to be starting with a 5 16 inch hole. I coated the raw hole with thin CA glue to help stabilize the threads. Here I'm using Ruth Niles Arbor since it is also a 5 16 inch tap. A drill bit through the body will help prevent rotation. The wood is big enough to twist on by hand. Next, I'm mounting my newest revision of my infinite access chuck. One enhancement is the addition of a 3 8 inch bolt that can be used to mount bottle stoppers. It helps to use the tailstop to find the center of the bolt. Then, lock down the chuck for the initial mount. Perfection does not matter, although I did try to tap it in with an Allen wrench used like a hammer. Then, mount the walnut to the 3 8 inch screw. To start with now, I'm centering the walnut for rough rounding. After rounding, I want to form a plain area that will transition from the steel base and contain the screw. No offset in this area, so I don't risk exposing the bolt. I'll even sand it now. Now for a first offset. I'm moving the axis about 3 8 inch and retightening the chuck. I'm cutting a large bead although later I realized I should have left more with the tailstock for support. My design concept is a raindrop. Rough sanding is in order right now. I'm using a drill sander and resting the drill on the tool rest to help keep an even distance and pressure on the wood. Half of the round is cutting air, or in this case, sanding air. Light pressure is the name of the game. Time to offset about 120 degrees away from the first offset. I've added a drilled out rubber stopper to the tailstock for gentle support. This time, I'll cut a broad cove and coarse sand it. Normally, I cut out the sanding from the video, but this time, it's an important part of shaping to smooth transitions from the different axes. The final offset splits the difference between the other two offsets. This will be for a basic broad cove, also but a bit higher on the bottle stopper. Ultimately, there was quite a bit of 80 grit sanding on this piece to finish the top and blend the facets generated by the different skew axes, both power and hand sanding. Then, mostly hand sanding up through the grits. Finally, I finished the walnut with shellac friction polish, although the friction came later from buffing wheels. Having the wood mounted to the steel provided a handle to use while buffing. A CA finish would be more moisture resistant than shellac. After unscrewing the wood and screwing on the stainless steel bottle stopper, I have my multi skew axis walnut bottle stopper. I hope I'm ready for the club demo. The improved infinite access chuck performed perfectly. I'll have a build video on the new version shortly. We'll see you again next week for another wood turning video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Until next week, this is Alan Stratton 
from As Wood Turns. Keep on turning.